Sunshine Gates. And I've been a part of this amazing youth group for a little over a year now. And it's kind of crazy because a year ago, if you would have told me I would have been here, I would not have believed you. So they asked me to talk about something. And it's a little, it's something that's very crazy. And honestly, I struggle with it a lot. It's stress. Now, I know you're all thinking, wow, stress, I have it, but who cares? There's no solution. Everyone has it. You can't get rid of it. Well, let me tell you, there is a solution. And I'm going to talk about one story that happened to me recently. So I don't know if you noticed, but there's this virus that's been going around, the coronavirus. And it's kind of crazy because it's honestly affected me in so many different ways. One way in particular is I'm right now in Texas, the great state of Texas. I'm supposed to be in Missouri at my college. Now there's a little bit of a difference there, you think? So whenever we got our college canceled and we had to move all of our classes online, I was like, oh my goodness, where am I gonna go? And then I got the opportunity to come to Texas and help out here. So there's a lot of stress with that because I still have my classes online for college, but it's a new place and new things. Some of you guys may be experiencing these same things. Maybe you had to move all your classes for school online, or maybe you have to talk to your friends over FaceTime now and you're like, I don't even know if I have my friends' numbers. Or maybe even you have like different stresses just with your family life, or even different life choices like colleges or scholarships or sports, and you're like, oh no, what am I supposed to do? Or you're just feeling like you have a lack of time, or maybe you have too much time. All these different situations create so much stress in today's culture. They're making me stressful talking about them. But there is a solution. And I found it through the Bible. And God can help us with this stress. And it's not just something that we think that he can. He's actually going to. So, number one. First, we need to, first, we need to trust the Lord with our stress. Okay, trust the Lord with our stress. Now, that's something difficult for me, I know for sure. But in Isaiah 40, 31, it says, Those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will not run and grow weary. They will walk and not faint. This is kind of crazy to think about because it says, You will soar high on wings like eagles. Now, that's a crazy thing. Like, thinking about soaring high, even though, like, we're feeling like we're in our lowest point. But whenever we trust in the Lord... We will find this new strength to keep going and keep pushing through all the different things that we have. We need to humble ourselves to be able to be with him and tell him about these things. Um, it's amazing when we realize that when we trust God with our stress, that we can have all this new strength. Okay, second, know the Lord is always with us. Know the Lord is always with us. Okay, Deuteronomy 31, 8 says, it is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. Psalms 118.7 says, The Lord is with me. He is my helper. This is all talking about how the Lord is always with us. No matter what situation, no matter if I'm in Texas or if I'm in Missouri, the Lord is always with me, helping me through the stressful times I have, no matter what class I think is going to be difficult or what friendship that you think is going to be hard to uh, keep in touch with, the Lord is with you trying to help you through this situation. Stress does not limit us from doing our job, but God helps us and equips us to do our job. So we need to be constant communication with him and be not anxious about what is going to happen and not worried about what will happen. There's another verse that talks about anxiety and that works in hand in hand with stress. Philippians 4, 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, be prayerful and penitation with thanksgiving. Present your request to God. God knows we're going to face stress. It's evident. Our life is crazy as it seems. You're in high school, you have sports. You're in middle school, you have grades that you have to keep up with. There's so many different things that are keeping us down and stressing us out. But the Lord is going to be with us through these situations. So we need to remember, first, to trust the Lord with our stress. Second, the Lord is always with us through our stress. So I want you guys in the next few days to bring your stress to the Lord in any situation. All that stress, every single bit of that stress, all of it. And I said all of it, all of it. 
all the stress of the Lord because he's going to be with you through it all. Last thing before we go. So I know a lot of us are worried about our stress and not necessarily worried about the stress, like the stress we have, but we're worried about stress in general, but there's no need. So Matthew 6, 34 says, therefore, do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Worry about today. Don't worry about tomorrow. Don't even worry about today, honestly. Trust the Lord. If Today is going to happen even if you don't think it's going to happen. And it's going to have its own challenges. You just need to face it like it's today. The Lord is with you and he's going to be with you through this situation with the coronavirus and every other situation. I want to pray for you guys and just uh, hope that you guys can learn about stress and learn how to use this stress for other areas of your life or even tell other people. So trust the Lord and um, be open with the Lord and tell them about your stress. Love y'all. See you later. Oh,